Right. Uh, good morning, students. Uh, let's continue with our discussion on various types of diagrams, which we have uh, covered to a lot of an extent. Some of them are still left. One of them, uh, which we have to cover, is deviation bar diagram. Right? Deviation bar diagram. Now, what is deviation bar diagram? For that, you need to understand where it is to be used most. Right? As you can see, a little bit of a tabular presentation here. Uh, years are given and then the second column as such net exports and net imports are given to you. Now a country can either have exports over imports in a year or imports greater than exports in a year. Right? Generally this is what the pattern is. In India's case it is imports far greater than exports. Uh, as you all must be aware of it, India imports a lot of petroleum products uh, as well as gold as its major import items, right? Exports are comparatively thinner, right? Used to be cotton. Nowadays, you have other uh, commodities also, which are part of India's exports, right? Spices and all make it up. In services, we also uh, provide uh, IT services as such as a part of exports but exports are far lesser than the imports clear now let's come to the point here students uh, if you see the first few years uh, it's a positive values which represent <coughs> net exports clear on the contrary the next few years are negative values which represents imports more imports rather than exports so how to present such information when you have two contrary variables, either of one will supersede other. For example, profit or loss. For example, expenses, revenue. Then you better follow such type of diagram. Deviation bar diagram. Clear? Let's present it. In 2015 students, our uh, net exports are 100. So I am going to take a scale on the positive quadrant with 100 clear whereas in the second year the export slips to 50 therefore i will take it 50 as exports but as you move ahead in 2017 and 18 as you can see the table it is minus that means imports are greater than exports right by that much amount so i'm going to move into the negative quadrant as such on the axis and try to present the figure Right, this is y axis, this is your x axis. So in 2017, it is minus 50. So my bracket or my rectangle, which will be there, will be on this side for 2017, representing the import supremacy over exports. Similarly, in the uh, next year, it continues. The net exports are greater. So I'll continue with one more uh, rectangle which will represent my next year making it for 2018. So that's what deviation bar diagram for you students. Whenever you get situations wherein you have two contrary variables naturally moving in opposite direction, one will supersede the other. You better switch over to deviation bar diagrams, right? Few examples, exports, imports, expenses, revenue, profit, loss to be taken. Clear? I hope all of you understood it. Thank you.